It started when I was, uh, when we first moved to America from England, uh, there was a piano in the house that we moved into, and so it was like purely coincidental with that. Um, and my mom was just like, do you want to take piano lessons? And I was kind of like, yeah. The academic side of composition is much more complex in a way than film music, because for film music you're pretty much scoring for this predetermined idea you have with the director and like the, you know, there's usually a screenplay or some plot. Whereas with academic music, you're just trying to like push music into somewhere it's never been before and break boundaries and do this incredible stuff that is less a focus point than in film. My whole family's in the, in the film industry, so we would always just like be watching the screeners that we'd get, um, you know, for the Oscars and stuff at night. Like every night we'd watch a different one. And uh, watching films with them is, it can be fun, but it's also like they're just the whole time commenting on everything, like saying, oh, do you see that shot, you know, do you see this? You know, Joe, you hear the way that music, you know, is building, or, you know, oh, do you hear how, how this isn't working, or you see this? And so it was always like a very interactive process watching films with them. I mean, I now watch movies a lot more critically, I think, because my parents were being so <laughs> vocal. I interned for Hans Zimmer this summer, and that was uh, incredible and really humbling. Uh, pretty terrifying uh, as well, because he is just like the pinnacle of the film composer. I mean, he's a legend, and so are all of his staff. When Hans Zimmer does movies with like Chris Nolan or any of those those big movies, like you know, The Inception or Interstellar, they the, he is involved from the very beginning. Chris Nolan has this this fundamental idea, and then Hans will write a piece, and then they'll change it with each other. Whereas a lot of the time, um, the, the composer will just be brought in three months before it's released. You'd have a meeting with the director where they'll, they'll spot it with you, which is where they just watch it with you and say, you know, let's have music here, let's have music here, let's maybe not have music here. And, and that's like a very, you know, that's like a, a, a duet kind of because the, they want to know, directors usually want to know what the composer thinks. I really enjoy all kinds of music. Um, I mean, there are a few genres that I haven't gotten into yet, but, but I mean, as far as like, you know, hip hop and jazz and classical music and uh, film music and incidental music and, uh, you know, like world music. So I, I really do like just enjoy a lot of different kinds of music. Directors of films don't just want, you know, classical sounding music, which is what a lot of people that write are writing. Uh, they want, you know, some music that's unique, something that sets it apart.